love to him. Both of them had given me children. And you suppose you must choose between them? No. I don't want to choose. I would like to have both of them. <laughs> I see. You know, of course, the story of the marriage between Yol and Skadi. Skadi was a giantess. Her father was killed. She strode to Asgard to get justice. And the gods asked her if she wanted gold for the death of her father. I settled for a husband, she said, and a belly full of laughter. This is going to be a long story. If you are hundreds of years old, then it's a very quick story. The gods conferred and agreed that Skadi could choose a husband from among them, but they made one condition, that she chose him by his feet. His feet? Yes. And Skadi lost no time in choosing the most shapely pair of feet, believing they would naturally belong to Balda, the most handsome of the gods. But they didn't. But Njord, the lord of seafarers and sea harvests, his skin was old and weathered. What are you talking about? I don't want to make a choice between them. But if I did, are you saying that I should decide based on faces? You should examine their hearts, their livers, and every other organ. In any case, it makes no difference. You are only fooling yourself, Ragnar Lothbrok, if you think the choice is yours to make. <laughs>